Hey everybody, this is Gary Fong and I've been asked to compare our flash unit to the Rogue Flash Bender and um, basically I'm going to show you the differences between the two products. So what it basically is, is it's a big flat reflector that has uh, bendable tabs in the back so you can kind of bend, bend it into different shapes for shaping the light. Now one thing that uh, you'll see when you look at any of the videos on YouTube uh, or anything about the Rogue dif uh, uh, Diffuser is that it's basically used for off-camera flash and in non-moving situations. What I mean is basically is that uh, it's, it's really best used as a off-camera flash director rather than a diffuser and here's why is the mounting system. First of all, if I go like that it falls right off. So, let me go grab it. And the reason that is, is because it's basically uh, fabric onto hard plastic. So there's nothing that's going to keep it on. And that's actually okay if you're not going to be moving the flash head around too much. The light goes in one direction only. Whereas with the light sphere, the light sphere is what we call omnidirectional. Or what it means is that the light goes around the entire room rather than just pointed in one direction only. What makes the light sphere, light sphere collapsible difference, different, of course, is that it is smaller then, uh, well, it, it folds flat. But the mounting system will not fall off. And this is one of the things that we did when we made the mounting system. Of course, we put the shark teeth kind of design in it. But I'll show you what it's like. This is, we just put it on like this and pull it up. And now we've got it on. So this one will not fall off. It's um, in use or, uh, you know, shooting a wedding or anything like that. The last thing you want to do is worry about it falling off. Also, it's strong enough that I can hold the entire camera up like this. So it, it doesn't have any Velcro. It's just uh, what we call our designed grip. The other thing, too, is that you can shoot vertical and horizontal very quickly with this. So let me show you what the light pattern looks like between the light sphere the uh, Rogue, the uh, Bounce, uh, and I've got one camera with a flash directly pointed at me, no diffusion, and we're just going to show direct flash, okay? So this is the first shot, and it's, um, and this shows the light pattern of just a regular flash straight forward. Now I'm going to do one with Bounce. We're going to turn the flash head straight up, and I'll do the same thing, but with Bounce. So this one will uh, be shot number two with bounce. Okay, so that's bounce. And now you can see what that looks like. And bounce is characteristically looks like the sun is coming from straight above. So, um, and I'll just hold up the letter L uh, to signify that it's the light sphere, okay? All right, and that's the comparison. So the third one is the light sphere, and, um, and there you have it. And it shows the uh, omnidirectional nature of the light. Done the light sphere, let's go ahead and I'm gonna put on the Rogue. There you go, it's all ready to fire. And here we go. Uh, so this is Rogue. I'll just put uh, a three up so we'll know that it's the third shot or something like that. Okay, so here we go. Great. So now that's the Rogue. And um, with the Rogue you can see what the, the lighting pattern looked like. And you can basically see that on the side of the uh, stable here we've got a real nice um, amount of light that's hitting it and that's to be expected because we're hitting the side of the barn door with a flash direct and the light is coming off the rogue uh, straight from that diffuser panel.